you are alive. Good luck. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing? Welcome in. This is... My name is Ice Blue, by the way, uh, for, for those who don't know me. Um, and we are going to be running some Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster. Um, I'm very excited to be here um, opening this event. This is a, a huge, huge honor. And I'm happy to be here showcasing this game with two wonderful folks in the booth with me. Would y'all like to introduce yourselves? Wait, should I go first? Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Demarine. I've run a couple of other versions of this game and made some attempts at this one. Uh, Final Fantasy is a wonderful game. Been a part of my life for, like, 35 years? It's been 35 years, hasn't it? I'm gonna go be sad in the corner now. <laughs> it's only been 35, only. Yeah. And I'm Kaguya Nikki. Um... I'm the one who promised to raise ice blue in this and then hacked up her submission in more than one way, so one of the ways was me actually forgetting to submit this game, so here I, I am got hiding in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, this was not my only thing but my only mistake, I'm telling you. The thing with twelve AM and twelve PM is also very, very evil. All right, all right, all right. So, so let's we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Uh, Demarin, you want to name one of the characters? I mean, usually they make me they make me the rock that stands in front. That's my general okay. job in life. So, okay. Uh, what name do you want for it? Just Demi is fine. Uh, Nikki. All right, I'll be the monk. Okay. And then we're gonna name one of the mages Ice, and then the last mage is gonna be Heck. Sorry about the language. <laughs> <laughs> language, language notice for this run. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's 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 pretty fitting. But all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll kind of go through stuff. We do have a two minute cutscene at the very beginning of this run, and we'll have a lot of time to explain like how things are gonna go in this run. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. So, Final Fantasy 1, uh, they've had quite a few releases of this game. Uh, this one is probably one of my favorite releases. Um, as far as a casual standpoint, I think they did a fantastic job with like the the remastering and like the, you know, like the, just the, the updated graphics for everything. Um, as far as like battle mechanics and things like that, eh, not so much. <laughs> There's a big change from, like, this game versus, like, the previous, like, editions of this game uh, that just make the final section of this game, like, a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Um, but we have ways to kind of, like, subdue that RNG and fight around it for the most part. What um, is your favorite version, Demi? My favorite, my version? favorite version? Or Demi's favorite version? Go ahead. Sorry. Uh... I mean, after all of the heckling I got this week about the PSP version, clearly my favorite version is the randomizer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, GBA, GBA is really my favorite version. I think I think it just does everything very well. It is just a very interesting take on the the game itself. Does uh does GBA have um the 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 same enemy spell scripts and spells or? No, it's got. It still has the determinist. It has the determined the predetermined spell lists. Oh, I need to. I need to start running that one. <laughs> it's gonna get cold. Real cold. Bottom of ice cave is freezing. Frigid. Frosty. <laughs> 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 Look, anything is better than getting turned one flared by chaos. Okay, right. I would. I would take ice cave over getting turned one flared three three runs in a row. My my uh, GBA PB has me getting Blizzard by Lich nine times in a row. <laughs> All right, so that sounds about okay. right. <laughs> we're we're out of a cutscene, uh, and we have to do a small bit of shopping here. Uh, we're gonna pick up a weapon and a set of armor for our fighter here, uh, because we want the fighter to be able to tank hits for us. Uh, we're also going to pick up a couple of Lit 1 spells here. Uh, I do call everything by its original NES name. Pardon. 
Uh, we're going to pick up a couple lit ones for our mages because it is the strongest spell that we could pick up here because not a lot of things in this game resist uh, lightning. And it's going to be our best choice of spell for pretty much the most of like most of the run. Uh, we find out from the king here that Princess Sarah has been kidnapped by the, uh, I, I guess you could call him the strongest knight in Canaria, Garland. Maybe. I guess? Sort of. But yeah. We gotta uh, go to chaos. <laughs> whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna take the walk to the the Temple of Fiends, and we're gonna walk up, and we're not gonna get the second encounter, we're gonna get the good encounter table here, apparently. Oh, uh, so did you see how those two black mages bonked that wolf? With their stick? That was very impressive. <laughs> but yeah. The big thing that we're hoping for in the early game is that we are hoping that Garland decides to attack our monk and, and knight and her fighter, and not the black mages. Please do not attack the black mages. They need experience. That was actually a really good Garland fight. He Garland. missed. He, yeah, he swung and missed and then died. Like Yeah. So fortunately, we, we, we have kind of a glass cannon comp, and... Both the black mages, as long as they can cast Thunder, which they can only do for two turns, but that's enough. And the monk deals so much damage that, yeah, this fight usually only takes two turns. Yeah, what are the biggest changes from, like... And I don't, I don't know why they went back in time for the this version of the game, but, like, I believe, what, the PSP and the GBA version had MP? Yep. So, yep. like, I don't know why they went back in time to, like, the originals. Uh, but I do appreciate that. I think the design intent of the six pixel remasters were to be like, what if Squaresoft were to make this game today? Um, and like, like, like FF3 uh, pixel remaster also has spell charges, like does not have MP. And it just ends up being kind of a real interesting take on things. Um, yeah, the pixel remasters were supposed to be inspired by the original versions. So... Was like trying to give it a more modern touch and everything. It, it turned into a weird mishmash in some games more than in others. Um, but was also like one of the main explanations why we don't have any bonus content. Rip my GPA bonus dungeons. Yeah. Shout out um, to uh, the Whisperwind Cove. No one shouts out the Whisperwind Cove. What is this? <laughs> Fine. What about the Fire Chasm? You know what, on second, yeah, thought, on second thought, shout out to Whispering Cove. <laughs> I'm just saying, the latest route of all F GBA All Bosses, which sadly doesn't have a PB, goes to Whisperwind Cove before fighting Merylus. Oh no. Oh nice. I imagine how sad Merylus is once you go and meet her. With I mean... all the weapons out of, of Whisperwind. She dies in one turn, in glitchless GBA speech. <laughs> It's okay, though. She gets her revenge in Temple of Fiends Revisited when she slaps my monk in the face for over 400 damage through my uh, my opal bracelet. <laughs> By the way, I hope you like cutscenes, because we have another one. <laughs> you know, you know, a good RPG speedrun has a bathroom break in it, but not at six minutes. <laughs> not even I mean, there was a bathroom break in the beginning. There's a bathroom break here. Um... We get another bathroom break in a little while when we uh, blow up the canal. <laughs> also, uh, shout outs to hydrating, by the way. I got a bottle of Gatorade. I'm being good. I am drinking a cup of coffee. Yeah. I, I was thinking of getting some nice, like, tea, and then it's like, yeah, no, time zones, that's already kinda late. Maybe we just stick to water. <laughs> I'm on I'm on lunch from work right now to do commentary. <clears throat> I appreciate you for being here. That's very kind of you. So Final Fantasy One. Uh, so our our biggest differences between this version and like all the other versions, um, like Nikki was saying earlier, uh, this is more of a glass cannon comp. Um, so our objective here is to basically keep the mages alive at all costs um, because they're going to be throwing out AoE spell charges left and right throughout the entire game here to level up our party. Um, and we're going to be using pretty much the fighter as a, a face tank 
the fighter is literally only there to face tank. Any other thing, fighter is just, uh, yeah, we don't need him. Some I am going to early game damage. Like, Meat if we were to encounter like a nice ogre now, you know, ogre is will. a bit scary of an encounter right here, uh, just because it puts our ma our mages in one shot distance. Yeah. Especially because you've got the, the usual expected level up at level 2, which is one hit point for both of your black mages. Uh -oh. Yeah. We're going to be tracking the black mage health for quite some time because it is very important for surviving abilities down the road. Um, essentially what ends up happening is that in Final Fantasy 1, there's a random chance of you getting a big stat upgrade or uh, a small stat upgrade. And for hit points for black mages, it's basically the small upgrade is 1, um, and the big upgrade adds an additional 20 to that. Uh, there's some guaranteed large upgrades. I don't have the chart. I have to go look for it again, and I couldn't find it last time. Um, but the idea is that sometimes your black mages get lucky, and they get uh, early stat gains, and they're at like 70 hit points right now, and that's weird and nice. Or this is what you usually expect, which is your black mages are level 3, and they have 27 hit points each. Yeah. Stat gains are well, very... Yeah, stat gains are very strange in this game. We do have guaranteed HP level ups for mages. Uh, I believe it's at 4, 8, 12, and then 18. Um, uh, Dra Dragon Dark, just who is, got one. Yeah, Dragon Dark, who is the expert of all things Final <laughs> Fantasy manipulation, they let us know it is 4, 8, 14, and 18 are the first 14 and 18, there you go. Yeah, if yeah. we are talking about the cheat sheets that we wanted to look at, yeah, Dragon Dark was the one who made that, so... Also, uh, none so of your black mages died on the way here. But shockingly, I actually impressive I'm, I'm enough shocked. for a marathon run. I'm very shocked that the wolves actually uh, only targeted. Do I have it set to? I gotta check the settings after this. I, I, don't I mean, know if I, I have always this. have it set to memory, but I I don't. Yes, I, I, I know do. That not everyone is like that. Yeah, that's the it, it, that's a weird thing for me. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's super weird. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta figure, change that out. Uh, but yeah, pirates, uh, pretty simple encounter. As long as we're level four here, our mages are relatively tanky here. One of the other things you note, you'll see auto battle happening here, where you queue up the attacks and then you push the button on your controller that turns on auto battle. And this does two things: one, it automatically queues up your abilities; it chooses the last one that you chose and queues it up again and again. And it actually speeds up battle animations by a good chunk. There we go. Cursor memory is off. But notably, auto battle continue is on. So the idea is auto battle continues that except for boss fights, what this does is it leaves you in the auto battle state when you start a fight if you were in auto battle at the end of the last one. Uh, one of the discoveries in this game is that it also speeds up the load animation for fight. Um, <laughs> you get into a lot of fights in a run and you want to speed that up as much as possible. Both fade in and fade out are getting passed uh, by auto battle. Which is a and, strange concept. And by a sufficiently concept. good CPU, but... I don't, I don't know why it affects, like, load-in and stuff like that. It's super weird, but... Ooh, good encounter. Very happy to see this one. Yeah, probably Yeah, especially since one... we take out the shark first. It's, like, one of the best you can probably get here early on. It's, it's I my... think, one of... It might be the highest experience encounter you can get on the ocean. Yeah, but uh, maybe uh, three buccaneers would be something I would prefer seeing. It, like, it's this one funny. is more experience, but two shots can be kind of dangerous. Yeah. If you are unlucky. Yeah, Kaizuki are worth the money, which is also important, and they generally get one shot by everybody at this point. So, Like, in the other versions, you had, like, lots of different packs. Like, you had, like, I don't know, zero to, one to eight Sahagans. Oh, one or two so sharks and all like you, you had a lot of variety well here you have like like buccaneers can only exist as three or five instead of i think one to five one two three four five um yeah 
there's no yeah. there's no random factor in how many enemies show up in a pack. The packs are predetermined. So like the the double red say hag one shark pack is always that now, as opposed to in the older versions, especially NES in particular, where it could be like or uh, GBA is also the same where it could be like one and one. It could be just a shark because the red say hags are actually between zero and two in that version, which is weird. Yeah. Also, I take everything back. This might be the one with the most experience, which is great because big eyes are like two experience. And... Yeah, this is even more. My but yeah, Sagans are and eyes here. don't do anything really. So, so we are Body getting pretty action. much the absolute worst possible outcome for our mages here. Have you gotten, like, literally, for all of your other level ups, one HP for your black mages? That's impressive. And not in a good way. I don't think we even have enough. We do. Okay, I can buy at least Why one. Why do you Denar. sound so surprised, Demi? This is FF1 we are talking about. I love FF1. I love this game. Yeah. This yeah, as you should. But still, this kind of behavior is something we know. It is worth noting that the game does not love any of us back. <laughs> I love us back, though. Aww. <laughs> so, yeah, first right. goal, get a copy of Thundara. Use that to go make enough money to get a second copy of Thundara, because I think you run the double Thundara comp, and... I do. Uh, and get some extra camping supplies Dang. so that we can get out on the road. So we're looking to probably make another thousand gil here, roughly. Good encounter for that, so, you know. So, yeah, we want to see shark encounters. We want to see red Sahagans. Uh, we don't want to see this encounter. This encounter is a waste of a Thundara charge. This encounter just is bad. Like, that's like yeah. the worst encounter you can see. At least you seem to be kind of better with running away in this version than other versions. I like, would disagree. In GBA and so, like, trying to run from the Huggins, like, I mean, then, fighting them is bad, but running away from them is even worse, because it never works. It's a nightmare trying to get away from oh, them. Oh, you have oh. to hit exact damage. Rip. Alright, so that's unfortunate. That is one of the... One of the big scary things in the beginning of this run is having one of your mages get chomped. And yeah, also, do, you did not quick save, so... So that 200, that 200 gil that we got from the last fight, gone. <laughs> right out the window. Actually, we lost money. <laughs> <laughs> Negative profit. Alright, so a little change of, uh, change of pro process here. Uh, we're just gonna farm up enough gold here to get supplies, and we'll do the single Thundara route, which is actually, like, the record strats. No Sandara and single Tempa. Yeah, even better. That sounds so spooky. It is very spooky. Okay, well. The Hagen are worth crap all. Like, you get 200 okay. gold. Was I... that level 8? That was. Okay, so that was another guaranteed HP level up. So, it's a little better, but not that much better. I mean, finally, one of your black mages has decided to take the lead by three in terms of hit points, so let's go, I guess. So, we'll do a couple of end trips here. Um, not really ideal with how many, you know, encounters that we've already gone through, uh, but this game just loves to throw us into an RNG loop. And sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not nice. Like, Mostly you know it's not nice. You, you know that you're... Oh, this is great. Uh, this, this is awesome. the best great. encounter. Yeah, this is actually great. I'm not being sarcastic or anything. This one rules. Um, this is big money and big experience. Um, like this is the kind of situation where you're gonna go to you're gonna go to Marsh and run into uh, like uh, into like Groger Groger Ogre packs and just be like, why? Why now? After I've done all this ocean grinding. <laughs> Yeah, the Groger Ogre combo on the oh my goodness on the Overworld is probably the best gold encounter you can get early on, um, just because Ogres give 195 gold and Grogers give 600. Yeah. Uh, well, just 
do that. Saga Chief gives us a good bit. Not a lot, but a, a good bit. Alright, our preemptive is fantastic here. Yeah, notably, there's two interesting things about one experience required for the next level, GG. Um, um, just like, yeah, just, just turn it over, I guess. Another preempt. But, um, like, I think the, the big thing, the interesting thing for preempts, by the way, is that uh, we don't do a lot of running away in this version because we need experience. Uh, because there's no grind tiles anymore, so we tend to really push the amount of experience that we get from just taking encounters. Um, of note, in preemptive attacks, preemptive attacks, you're not guaranteed to run away if you try to run. Um, and if you get ambushed by enemies, interestingly enough, not all of them may attack you. Um, I think which, if it's if it's a nine encounter that ambushes you, a max of five will attack you. Which is which is nice. It's just weird. Yeah. I think the biggest thing that I, I really do not like is the fact that you uh, you can't run from every encounter, like even if you preemptive. Which I think it's I think it's one of the changes that they did mainly because there's now like the only encounters you cannot run from are the predetermined encounters. Yep. So, like, there's no, like, unrunnable encounters anymore in this game, unless it's one that you have to actually interact with on the overworld or in a dungeon. Or in a treasure box. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just interesting. And, yeah, that means that things that you couldn't run from in older versions, you can run from in this one. Um, but, yeah, camping supplies, so grabbing two tents, which we're going to use to... Of course, I get poisoned immediately. Hey, at least this time you have more than four antidotes. You mean more than that is... who didn't have antidotes the last time? That was ice. I ran out of antidotes before Earth Cave and then uh, er, in Earth Cave. Uh, no, I want a tent here. And yeah, I was just like, well, I guess I have to reset every single time I get poisoned. <laughs> Good times. Thankfully, this that version was... does autosave every time you screen transition, so. I actually like taking this encounter because creeps actually give you a lot of experience. No R bones, which is unfortunate. Yeah, regular skeletons are the Sahagin of the underground. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. All right, I got to be careful here to save all my charges now, um, because we're only running a single Thundara comp. Yeah. And so must have. I need you two Thundaras. You must have charges for it for the bottom. Oh, this is the scariest encounter. Land I, I, I like that one. Okay, not as bad. Do you think one day Square will release a, a version in which they will actually call them by their name? No, no, Square Enix no. are cowards. Agreed. I agree. Alright, bottom floor of Marsh. Probably one of the scariest points. Oh, I want this encounter so bad. Probably one of the scariest encounters you can find in the entire run. Because uh, later on, you know, we'll have much better spells. We'll have much more HP, hopefully. Um, and we'll be able to just kind of, like, tank things. Not right now, though. Uh, yeah, not right now. We uh, we definitely get punched in the face repeatedly. What is this tanking you're talking about? I, know, I, I only know a kill before getting killed. Of course. All right. Yep. All right. Perfect. All right. That, yep. It's fine. Beautiful. That, and exactly. that is. <laughs> Good job, right. Fisca Demons. That's how we know so, I hate you. Uh, so now we have to wait for these to basically kill us. We don't want to defend because we do take half damage from defending. Um, but yeah, our fighter didn't. Demarine didn't do her job. <laughs> I'm not doing my job today. <laughs> Commentary over. I'm leaving. Um. Uh, also, I love how you have to, oh. like, do the, the conflict oh, menu once go. again. Perfect. Oh, yeah. uh, you can preempt the box, and, uh, yeah. We love that. Also, is it 82 or 84 HP? But yeah, it's even the uh, damage roll for Sandara to kill, well, at least some right. of them. See, during a marathon, you get everything first try. 
That was definitely first exactly. try. Exactly. All right, because we're broke, I'm picking this up. You also grabbed a cottage, which you can sell. They're worth a big pile of money, so there is that option as well. But you can also use it. You can use I, it. I but use it. What do you mean? It's a thousand. It's a thousand gil. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's not enough for us to buy a silver armlet. Nothing is enough for us to buy a silver armlet other than, you know, scrimping and saving. We're going to grab this box oh, here. Oh, no! Lab lobsters, let's go team! Go team! Oh, they didn't oh. kill anybody. Aww. No, I don't want them to kill me because no, we they went saved and since... hacked the two of us and then they let us run away again. I'm sorry, I'm, I am contractually obligated to root for lobsters at all times and places. Yeah. Uh, no, we didn't <laughs> save after the... Oh my goodness. Hello, lobsters, please? At least it's only two, yeah. Also the reason why this place is so much more dangerous in the Pixel Remaster version. And as for, like, in the GBA PSP version, I think even PSX, you have, like, depending on the area you are, your encounter rate changes. Like, yeah. Marsh K, for example, usually has a very low encounter rate. The Pixel Remaster version doesn't care about any of that. It just gives you an encounter roughly every... 30 steps, plus minus a few. No matter where you are. So all you can do is, well, not take extra steps as much as possible and pray, because sometimes they get reset when you enter, like, a new place. Yeah, which is why you'll see us quick saving a lot, just because some of these encounters early on can uh, just give you a bad time. And uh, I don't want a bad time. I want to I wanna make it through this game. <laughs> So we're going to use this last tent here. Um, I made a boo-boo and bought Thundara and Temper on the same mage, so uh, good luck me. <laughs> GG, I guess. Um, both of our mages don't have enough HP here to tank Astos. What's so talking about? Temper the, mo Temper the Monk or Thundara? What are you going to aim for? I'm tempering the Monk. Yeah. The Monk Let's can talk. tank. Let's talk spells a little bit here. So in every other version of Final Fantasy, spells are in a list, and so when the boss decides to cast a spell, it casts the first spell on the list, which for Astos is death in every version, and then it decides to cast all the spells on the list in order. In this game, that doesn't happen. The boss, when it when it chooses spell, it then gets to pick any spell out of its list and cast it. That's why we get to see sleep on turn one, and then haste on turn two, which is out of order. Um. This also means that Astos can cast Slow and Slow Ra. Hello, on Astos? What is this? Astos is being very friendly. Um, but Astos also knows Fyra and can light your party on fire, potentially. What um, a nice fight. In, it's, except this time, Astos decides it's time to cast Haste like four times because Marathon Luck? Aw, oh, where's my Silver Sword, Astos? Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, Astos decides to. Uh, Astos just decides to just like. I'm uh, I'm gonna be the Astos from Stranger of Paradise and just give you good things and walk away. <laughs> so you're welcome. I'm out. Uh, uh, yeah. That and is, if you're unlucky, that is... you like get AOE blind and AOE slow, and all your melees don't do anything anymore. And but not this time. Yeah, that was probably one of the most ideal fights we could have gotten there, with with all the heckups and boo boos and all this fun stuff. Um. But yeah. So, at least something went right in the early game, right? Right. Having a great time. And, and now I just set the field for probably one of the worst runs I've ever done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, but you can't have the worst run you have ever done before you reach the final boss. That is practically almost impossible. So was the last boss. Yes, but everything up to the last boss was not that bad. I uh, yeah, I can agree to that. In this game does. Tiamat, but Tiamat could give us a bad time. But if my monk keeps going with the HP gains as it's going now, uh, we should be fine. Uh, your monk found the chin up bar, doing some lifting, getting a little swole. Feeling pretty good. Oh, I didn't want to run from that. What's wrong with you? I hope y'all fail to run. 
so yeah. Optim uh, optimally, we are still grinding here up to level 12 at least when entering uh, the next dungeon, which is uh, Earth Cave. Yep. It will give us the first spell charge of the new spell that we will get soon. Which is a very tasty spell, but we need a lot of money as well. Uh, I say that. Are you going to buy haste again first? This is not the spell uh, I was no. talking about, but... No. I am very low on funding here. I am not buying haste. I will buy it later. Yeah. I, since I had to buy that secondary Thundara later, uh, I'm down a thousand gil. Just sell the cottage. So we're... Back to even. I know you want to use sell it. Sell the cottage? I'm sure but that I you need can... it. I'm sure you can take Matoya's retirement fund. I'm sure she's got like tens of thousands of gills stashed away in the bookshelves. She spent it on skulls. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, that, that's that's quite a mood. I can get behind that. I mean, what else would you spend ten, tens of thousands of gill on? Protect ring. No oh, skulls. Bear in a bottle. S fairies in a bottle. But I, I love, I love fairies. Well, first of all, why would we want to? Why would we want to subject fairies to that? What? To spending time with me? Because you no, no, no. S stashing them in a bottle. Oh, that's because no, no, that's we are not stashing them. We are. But someone did it, and we are saving them. Exactly. Some oh, jerk. hey, hey, hey! An encounter I needed twenty-two <laughs> minutes ago. Oh, we still take those. Money is never bad. Also, did Ice just outspeed Hex three times and is now out of Sandara spell charges before Hex even got to cast once? Oh my goodness! Hello. <laughs> we're yep. all about we're all about this life. Yeah, Ice is just run out of magic. But yeah, this is the early game fetch quest. We do some running back and forth. We're gonna drop off. You know, Matoya gives us the the energy drink, the Jolt Tonic. Call, call it by its right name, please. Uh, the cup of coffee. The herb. The herb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the awakening herb. Two cups, two cups of coffee and one sugar. With five shots of espresso. Look, it's like how to get through the day somehow. <laughs> I, I need uh, I need at least five shots of espresso if we're gonna wake up. Wake up, y'all! It's just a dream. Wake up. All right, so we get the herb, or <clears throat> if you want to be technical with reading the screen, uh, the jolt tonic. Unfortunately, um, again, I call everything by its NES name. Um, so the herb. Uh, the to herb. get the key from the Prince of Elfland. Which, and we then, which we need to use to unlock a door in Temple of Fiends Revisited because I hate you, Randomizer. I'm going to go cry now. Uh, but we're going to take this key immediately and go steal everything from the castle and then leave. Uh, <laughs> That's worth a lot of money, and they're not using it. Oh, hey, look, ogres! <laughs> <laughs> Another encounter you needed 25 minutes ago. <laughs> To be fair, 25 minutes ago, these three Giga Swarms would have been a pain, but yes. But you know what? They would have been a very, very wallet heftying pain. I might have to, like, grind an Earth Cave or something. Like, my HP is just impossible right now. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, one of the things that we need to line up for is that uh, later on, you're going to get one guaranteed uh, level up at 14. So we can add 25 to those numbers that are on the screen right now. So that still doesn't survive Blizzara, does it? No, Blizzara is like 140. You, you see, yeah, but who, yeah, Demi, who here friend. cares? This is not GBA where turn one Blizzara happens almost all the time and you have level 10 mages and don't know what how to deal with that. So this is a remaster. We are like level 15. And Spells just still happen not or enough. not, oh, so yeah. <laughs> pretty often they don't even happen, and the fight doesn't take longer than three turns, anyways. Like, you know, I mean, in GBA, I've certainly lost to like turn three Blizzara because you know buffs are hard. Yeah, I, I mean, at least with the monk root back then we saved a turn, which was a lot. <laughs> yeah, which is really important. I wasn't uh, doing monk route, so I was just getting murdered. Um, yeah. Please enjoy your TNT. 
I I love finding you know sticks of dynamite mm -hmm. in in the castle. I mean, yesterday was Guy Fox Day. What else are you gonna do but put dynamite in a castle on November fifth? Yeah. All right, so we a little bit more shopping. Uh, we have a little bit extra money. Not really though. You're doing uh, fine. So. We're gonna sell a bunch of this stuff. I'm gonna buy two tents, a single gold needle, Middle and a phoenix oh. down. And the most important item in the game. 25 ethers. And 50 potions or so. 60 potions, and we'll buy a single, another gold needle. Cause I have had a run before where both of my black mages got petrified instead of <laughs> the fighter instead of and the yeah. fighter. Yeah. I also always buy two. You can also buy high potions in theory, like as a backup. If you get like an early, <coughs> early Sandara or so, and you are like, yeah, I will heal that away in order to maybe tank something again for the next two turns. But uh, so it's not that actually of... that often happens that it can be useful. Yeah, I usually don't buy high potions until after um, Earth Cave. Just because potions just seem to be a little bit more efficient. And they're cheaper. Oh yeah, for sure. No, it's it's really only just like a potential lich backup at the moment. Yeah. Um so one thing we didn't kinda go over in this game, um is how we're gonna be using the fighter as our face tank. Um so in this game, whenever your character gets petrified, um you actually become still you're still targetable by enemies uh but the result in being targeted as a as a stone statue results in a miss um and we want that to happen very very often so in the very like once we get into earth cave and we make it to the vampire floor uh we want both of our monks and we want both our monk and our fighter to get petrified by cockatrices uh and what that's going to do is that's going to have a large chance of being targeted as a stone statue to result in a miss, which results in us menuing less, uh, using less potions, um, and making it a lot safer. But now that I've said that, uh, both my mages are probably going to get decked in the jaw by a troll or a bull or a giant, uh, probably even the vampire, um, and we're just going to see lots and lots of punching to the face. Where or was great. Or we might not even see uh, cockatrices at all. I mean, it is. This is an RPG speedrunning marathon, so why not have the RPG jerkbird show up in run number one? Or in this case, why? Yeah, why would we get be, lucky? Be jerks and have them not show up. I I I have a feeling that that's going to be the case. See, it is fortunately very rare, and. We get a lot in of theory, I would also like to say, hey, that sounds like a neat thing to show off, but I had had that happen before. You don't want to... You get... Oh, yeah, you get... definitely. Uh, okay, I mean, there was... The pop was Pride... Uh, that was a race I had before, where I had, I think, my monk needed to be petrified in Ice Cave, and it somehow happened, but... You know... We it's do... just not... We do two runs through Earth Cave Floor 3, the most common place that you can see Cossetrices in the area. Um, odds are generally good that in a bad run, you end up having to get your Black Mages petrified, or your Monk and Fighter petrified on the second trip into Earth Cave, but it's rare that it even has to go that far. The fact that you need to get Petris in Ice Cave is wild. Yeah. So, chat's uh, I'd like to... I'd like to also shout out the uh, 420 experience needed to level up, but... <laughs> anyway. So, we are gonna sell some more stuff that we picked up. Dump that inventory. Uh, because we need to buy two lovely spells here. We're gonna pick up two Feragas. So now we command the power of the elements, elemental fire. Uh, Just not yet. We need one more level. Uh, I'm gonna actually move this boat here. So we will learn to command the power of the element of fire, um, which is important because that spell is uh, powerful. 
It's very essential for this this cave. Where a lot of uh, things are un undead and therefore weak to earth elemental effects. Hey, your fighter's poisoned again. I'm doing my job. Get poisoned. Can't believe Demarine's poisoned. Doing my best, doing my best, Lena from Final Fantasy V impression. Let's go. <laughs> we'll take another encounter out here so I can tent up and be full spell charges. All right, this is actually a very scary encounter. Done. Touch. Hello. Bruh. Dead black mage. <laughs> How many Phoenix stones did you buy? Uh, I have two. I have one. It's fine. It's fine. It wouldn't be a marathon run if we didn't get, you know, one of the mages punched directly in the jaw numerous times over and over and... You know. And, and your mages are not wearing armor at this point. They have basic cloth armor, which has one absorb on it, so it reduces the damage for attacks by... one. Wait, your mages get armor? Yeah, I know, right? They, they come equipped with it. They, they're wearing robes, like... I would hope so. You say that. The monk also comes equipped with clothes, and you know what we do with those. Okay. Look, the, the monk is just like, the monk just wants to show off their, their rippling abs, apparently. Yeah, you see, the monk actually, the monk gets worse if you give them armor or weapons. Because they have some the natural bracelet. armor or natural damage. Like, you will never give the monk any weapon. Nunchucks are maybe worth it for the first five levels. And they're maybe. expensive in that time. Like, the big thing is, is that, uh, yeah, they also rebalance a little bit so that, like, unlike, if you've played the NES version, um, you know that Monk is completely useless until level 22. Um, just absolute garbage for the first 20 levels of the game. But uh. the change with the later versions. It changed with later versions that they actually get attack power and hit rate a little bit more consistently, so even at, like, level 1, an unequipped monk hits for, like, the mid-30s, which is great, and it just gets better from there. Yeah, it also helps that the temper, that, like, temper, haste, and saber actually work in this version, unlike a certain NES version. Oh my goodness. Oh, survived the hit, let's go. So notably, uh, one of the more important items that was purchased in Corneria is ethers. Ethers now exist and are great, but how they work is that when you drink an ether, it gives you one of each level of spell charge. So, oh, please, these guys, not these guys again. Um, so what ends up happening Round is that two. you Round want... <laughs> two. Don't run, just fight. Um, good damn trolls. Um, but the whole idea is just that it, since it refills one of each spell charge, we want to be using our spells in a balanced manner. So we're going to be using Thundara where necessary and... Burning the Fyraga charge every so often, so that when you drink Ether, you get back both a Thundara and a Fyraga. Um, we also need Ethers because we want to have, in particular, when we get through Earth Cave the second time and fight Lich at the bottom on our second trip. Spoilers, everybody, for a 35-year-old game, by the way. Um, the big thing is that we want to have six total Fyraga charges, so we're going to need Ethers to reload because we're likely to only come into Earth Cave with four on the second dive. So we need to level up enough so that we have six charges at level 15. Um, and we don't usually get level 15 until like floor four of Earth Cave's second trip, so. Also, encounters are a lie. And like the GBA version, this would be a 1 in 64. Um, yeah. So this game only has one rare. This version of FF1 only has one rare, rare enemy. Ah, uh, good encounter here. Three, three out of the four attacks hit my back line, which... According to the game's code, I, I don't agree with the game's code, uh, you have a 12.5% chance for slot 3 and slot 4 to be targeted by enemies. Um, that number's fake. Uh, it, 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 that number works basically every second time. Only when the game feels like it. Hey, hey, buddy, come back here. Getting scammed out of your experience. You need to be careful with your ether soon, if this rate. Should be fine. I have the extra tents for when I go outside, so I don't use any out there. True. 
We did not see any cockatrices, by the way. Uh, everybody say hi to the vampire. Hi, vampire! Alrighty, All right, everybody, say, everybody say uh, goodbye to the vampire. Bye, vampire! Bye! That fight could have gone one of two ways. Vampire could have hit. I was expecting a cutscene there. <laughs> I run this game, by the way. Um, it could go one of two ways. The vampire could have hit the mages, and it would have just resulted in me having to do. Oh, there we go. Double cast my uh, Firaga on one mage. Or we could have gotten the optimal thing, and the fighter got hit. All right, so we're going to spend a bunch of turns defending here because we want both the monk and the fighter to get petrified here. Come on, Demarine. Please. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> there we go. Look, we did it. Perfect. First Good try. Good job, Demi. First try. Let's go. That Let's happened go. on the first turn. All right, so that is optimal. We're gonna make a save so we don't have to refight that. So now we have two mega tanks in the front. Uh, okay, you are out of Thundaras. I'm losing a lot of steps here. Of course she went first. Thanks, me. Alright, so we need to escape here. Uh, we actually... I'm gonna run from this, just so I can save charges, because it's not a lot of experience. Don't you do it. Okay. Uh, we need to escape with the Star Ruby, or the Ruby. Uh, we need to feed that to the, the Titan in a cave coming up here so we can make it to the Sarda coast to go get the earth rod or the rod. Or the earth staff, depending on which version you are asking, for some reason. Okay, this is a scary encounter. Don't you do it! Okay, not even close. Alright, well, Heck has got enough HP. Ice is uh, very, very much struggling. Nikki is looking good. Yeah, your your HP is phenomenal right now. Uh, but we do need to keep our, our eyes mindful on HP values here, because we do have to have a certain amount of HP on the monk. Um, before we can just basically stop taking encounters and just running from everything. Um, levels don't matter as far as like stat-wise go, uh, because we're just going to be shoving steroids and buffs and everything into our monk for all the last few fights. Was that a level 14 HP gain? It was, okay. So we're going to use a tent outside here, uh, and we'll utilize because I have an extra tent. Just to kind of regain spell charges. But, uh, do y'all want to... Y'all want to go over, uh... The, the second dive of Earth Cave while we, uh, travel over to Sarda? So yeah, so we're gonna take a walk over here. We gotta go take this Ruby back out to Sarda, who tells us, "Yo, vampire, not the real, real bad guy." Um, cool. So he tells us that he's gonna give us a, uh, he's gonna give us the rod. Oh, lesser tigers. By the way, this has a rare drop that we may want. Uh, oh, nice crit. Uh, but these have a very small chance of dropping X potions, which will make our life a little easier in the end game. Uh, mostly because we're gonna need healing for our monk in the very last fight of the game, and so X potions are the way to do it, or elixirs. Obviously, we don't get the drop, but it's there. That it's being said, the drop, drop. rate is, is a lot better in this version than in the GBA and PSP versions. Mm -hmm. 
Like, if you say it's a 1% drop for each of them, I could even believe that somewhere around there. Like, in the other version, it's probably a 1 in 255. Which is hilariously low. Yeah, it's... So the only drop you will mostly see, if any, for some reason, are gold needles. I think, from, like, big packs of cockatrices. I feel like I get, like, seven or eight gold needle drops every run. <laughs> it's pretty absurd. Yeah, they, they are still pretty common here. But, like, if you want to, like, Garland Longsword drop, or... 2%. Castos Mistral Sword drop... 4%. All that good stuff that in other versions, like, I say versions, it's just the GBA version. In PSX you can buy Mistral Swords, and in PSP, yeah. In, in PSP right. you have Judgment Staves at that point. Yeah. <laughs> in the very beginning of the game, that cast yeah. nuke. <laughs> just, just flare everything. Yeah, but you know what? The other game, we cheat. Or in PSP, we cheat. No cheating yep. here. You might want a tent again. Yeah. Do you that have three is, tents? Uh... Yep. Yeah, four even. All the tents. Yeah, I typically buy it an extra couple um, in Canaria, just in case I run into a situation like this. We're, uh, we're low on spell charges. I'll just do that. Alright, level 15 is massive. Uh, we'll probably be level 16 by Lich, uh, which is really nice. Uh, but 15 is what we want to be at, because that gives us access to three Firaga charges, which is what we're going to need for Lich. To be fair, we just always need more experience. Like, and then, basically directly after Lich, we need also level 16 for the first Sunbagger charge. It's like... Just takes a good experience. I don't know about this mage's HP. What HP? Like, exactly. It's gonna Ice be fine. not gonna be able to tank. A, a single spell. Like, if Lich uses a spell, it's, uh, we're in danger. So, we're hoping for the level 16 to give us at least a level up. If not, it's a struggle. We love struggles, though. Do we? They are speedrunning this game. I mean, I speedrun an RPG. Of course, I love struggling. Yeah, fair. I'm kind of the same way, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh lord have mercy. Oh, this pack blows. Um, That looks like a lot of XP simply because lots of enemies. True. And thankfully, they all targeted the rocks. Yeah. So. Uh, good thing Gargoyles hit three to four times and can absolutely cut down your, uh, your Black Mages with great alacrity if they decide to go low. We we rockin' Demi. We're doing the job, see? You were complaining I wasn't doing my job earlier. Now look at me, just standing there getting hit, <laughs> getting hit, getting hit. Get do hit we know ima do we now imagine the traveling in Dragon Quest style, just that instead of coffins that are floating behind the blages, we have like <laughs> statues. Yeah, they just thunk them out in front at the start of battle. <laughs> Ice just has I've... has you just strapped strapped to their arm for defensive purposes. Yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty sure it's it's Heck that's dragging the two statues. <laughs> Ice is just like in the back line, like eating a candy bar. <sighs> I bet. Did, did, did you read that, Demi? Ice apparently has gotten two HP instead of one and eight of the levels. Two, you say? Yeah. yeah. We are 8 HP higher than bare minimum. That's... that's great. God, that's fantastic. 
Isn't that what we want to see in a marathon run? You could grind to level 18 and still not have enough HP to take a Blizzard at this point. That rules. I can't wait until Lich turn one Blizzard as me. Uh, or turn two Blizzard as you. I mean, that'll be a little less. You really annoying. should start running GPA. <laughs> Then I'll you get so it. many Blizzards, it's amazing. I'll think about it. I do love pain. Of course you fear Agen. All the other times, Ice is like, you know what, I'ma go first. Just kidding. See, it, it, the GBA version is mine and Demi's favorite FF1 version, so... If you want, to, want an expert, completely unbiased opinion. Completely unbiased? I believe it. Completely unbiased. Do you like the 15 puzzle, by the way? <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, I do love Mega Elixirs, though. I mean, everyone loves Mega Elixirs. Fun fact you can use the PR strat for Chaos also in GBA. You can, and it, it does work. It's just a little scarier. Yeah, it's uh, also slower because you don't have all the battle. Yeah. By the way, just, uh, for the two of you, Leggy walked up to me and flipped me off when I mentioned, when I said the words, do you like the 15 puzzle, so... Honestly deserved. I... <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't argue with that. Uh, I just got two more, <laughs> I used to get two more hit points, good job. Yep, I, uh, we are, um, insert Ralph Wiggum <laughs> emote here. Haha, <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Been hitting the books and not hitting the uh, been hitting the books and not hitting the the weights clearly. I do need to be careful with my ether charges here, um, just because I have to have three Firagas on both mages. Yep. Uh, for Lich, uh, we are gonna try and get. Do you at two? Okay. Try and see if we can snag this last level up and pray oh, that. Oh no, there's three encounters on this floor. So we should be good. Now, as long as we don't have to double cast here, we're fine. Yeah, good rolls. Thanks, Bat. Oh, this Hex got five Thundara charges. Goodness, good lord. Like, this is interesting enough, just kind of what you wanted to see, honestly. Like, the five mummy pack is, like, ideal here. Alright, well, four mummies is also good. I am actually going to take another encounter. Just to fill out the, uh... The experience. And, of course, it's not a great encounter, but... It's garbage! Two race is pretty low experience, but we should still get the level. No, we did not. Nope. Alright, um, so good news is, as Heck has 30 MP, or 30 ends. Oh, that's lovely. Well, um, so, it is a guaranteed three turn Lich fight as long as none of our mages die. Yeah, this is at least that. Yeah, that's part of the nice thing about being being an overlevel for this. Okay, this will definitely tip tip you over. <laughs> Just barely. All right, good luck, right. everybody. GL GLHF. All right, so the biggest Level the biggest 17. speed bump, the biggest speed bump in the entire run is Lich because Lich has an eleven percent chance to cast every single spell on his list, uh, but you know eleven percent of the time. It's, um, always an AoE, like that. And you barely survived Fyraga, so good job, I guess. At least it was the one Ice that you is can just, through. Ice is just not feeling it today. Uh, so 30... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Baby, it's cold wouldn't out there. Wouldn't be a marathon without a turn to Blazara to insult me. As it should be. Uh, so just... 30 intelligence on a, a on a black mage actually increases your magic power by 50%. Um, so you'll see 
that our, you know, bottom mage here, Heck, is doing 270. And my, my mage, me, I'm over here swinging a pool noodle at Lich. <laughs> okay. Here's Pandora. Oh. Red Knight. No, nice. All right, all right, all right. All we right, can still win right. this. Hold on. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, we're we're still we're still in there. Just Maybe. Maybe. Oh, hey, free and easy, easy every time. Free and easy every time. It's a good thing we have that extra phoenix down. It was like I almost calculated the whole thing. I don't believe you. <laughs> Why not? Please believe. All right, I believe. I I, I want to believe. <laughs> so one Which... of the big quality of life uh, patches that they did a while ago was um, because enough of us complained that the the default option for going into an inn was no. Uh, enough of us complained that Squeenix had to actually go in and patch it to default to yes. Um, which yeah, was honestly the funniest thing on the planet because you're just like, why would you default the answer to no? I don't know. Why don't you ask the woman in front of the submarine in uh, Onrak that question? <laughs> uh, just, just, um, P just, just PSP things. Yeah, she defaults no only in PSP, right? Yeah, exactly. I I think it so, literally yeah. is only in PSP. <laughs> but so you they went and patched that, but they did not patch exiting the dungeons via the the warps to yes so you still actually have to menu there if not you're just gonna be like no no i don't want to leave no stay in here home i'm staying she shrines really pretty once you clean out all the problems and i mean we, we did get rid of the big yellow speed bump so exactly and then there's all the lobsters and we love them oh hey buccaneers i really needed those encounters uh 50 <laughs> <hour>. minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we never needed this encounter. This encounter just sucks. <laughs> this encounter is uh, garbage. Garbage. So, saving my Firaga charges here. Um, we have two on the bottom mage, three on the top mage. Uh, because the encounters here heading over to Crescent Lake are all the encounters that we saw in the lovely Earth Cave. And we don't want to get decked in the face. I am also going to do this, because getting a 4 exp encounter is still scary. But they're worth a lot of EXP. Yeah. Like, it's a great encounter. You fight Raga twice and you collect, but they can uh, beat the heck of your mages if you're unlucky. Yeah, they can, they can bite me and then collect as well. <laughs> I mean, look, look, everyone's got the same goal, right? Everyone wants to get that experience, and, you know, how do you get, how do you make the great, you know, great peeve oh, without... Oh! Ow, the oh. critic! Wait, wow. Nice HP. <laughs> no! You ruined it! It was almost, it was almost double nice. It, it, it was pretty nice. Just for a moment, it was pretty nice. See, look, 4,000 the... experience. Like, <laughs> that is ideally... That the best encounter you could ever see. Yeah, for this part of the game, that is just so much experience above the curve of expectation that you're just happy to see it. Yeah. Uh, so here in Crescent Lake, we have to be very mindful of our supplies that we buy, um, which I have probably an astronomical amount of money here. Uh, 53,000 US and American dollars. Or Corneria Bucks. I guess they're Corneria Bucks, huh? I have an astronomical amount of money. Yeah, you're like flush with cat. I have never said that about anybody speedrunning this game before. It feels weird to say you are flush with cash. You say, but, uh, I mean, level 17 onto Lich is also something I don't yeah. think I have ever seen before. So <laughs> it makes Welcome sense. Welcome to the marathon. <laughs> Yeah, but you like you needed twenty six grand to buy two copies of uh, two copies of Thundaga here, and you still have ten grand in the back. He, yeah. I mean, he could have bought four, four four Thundagas. True, with the amount of money that we started the town with. Yeah. Uh, you so, came in here, but go ahead. I was gonna say, so we 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 talked to the tur the circle of sages here. Uh, they give us the canoe, and they're like, "Go to the mount, go to Mount Gulg, and uh, defeat the fire enemy." And 
we're gonna pretend like they never said that. Yeah, uh, so never instead, to them. so instead, we're gonna head over to the ice cave, which is a, a lot more dangerous. Enemies are around my level currently, which is about 17, 18 ish, uh, whereas Mount Gog is like 14. Um, and we're gonna go pick up a very, very large key item that we need to progress the game. Uh, the floater. It is not gonna... the levy stone. Don't you I dare thought... call it the levy stone. I thought you said we we're gonna go get some hit points for ice, but six of one, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm going to my cave so I can sit down and relax. My feet hurt. Ice is going to his cave. I mean, it's big, the ice cave. Big chillin'. Yeah. How? But yeah, we gotta go get a floater so that we can fly. Oh my goodness, it was a guaranteed HP level up. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> you mean heck became just more powerful? No ice, actually. I can Once now tank. Eight. Oh, Yo, and I and have 30 damage. Ants. And I have 30 ants. Wow! We're moving on up in the world. Ooh, Ooh. now this is an encounter. Long Double White Croc is some of the highest experience you can find in the mid game here. Yeah, as long as the white crocs. Yeah, as long as, as, long as they don't bite you. The black mages, yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, in this version in particular, uh, they've changed the encounter tables. Normally, you only see those in the Northern Continent River when you're traveling up to like uh, Waterfall Cave. But apparently now, white crocs have navigated their way down and they've uh, migrated I mean, to here. You say normally, that's only an NES thing. Maybe PSX, but like. GBA and PSP don't care about that either. I'm a rando runner. NES is normal for me. NES is the only game that exists in my mind these days. Why did you not make the rando off of the Wonder Spawn version? I didn't make it. That was other people. True. But for Giggles, it could have been fun. But you Or watched. MSX. I think that one has, just has so many versions. So chat's asking about class upgrade. You can class upgrade in this game? Wait. Class yeah. upgrade? I know, I, I've, I've never heard of that before. Yeah, so... Speedrunners have slowly but surely in all those versions just removed the class upgrade. Off of the speedrun. I'm not actually sure when it happened in NES. Probably second. First was probably GBA. Yeah. Cosmong. Oh no, okay. Because, me because Mega Elixirs. Uh, Mind Flayers are frightening because they hit for one damage, um, but sometimes that one damage just kills you. Yeah, uh, yeah. On so they have a, yeah, so enemies in this game have status ailment, touch. Uh, so whenever they physical attack you, um, they can uh, do this wonderful thing called uh, murder. Um, and Mind Flayers are the only enemy in the game that have death touch. And we don't want that encounter. It's scary. Uh, so instead of being able to get the floater here, uh, we're going to fall down this pit and we get ambushed by this fantastic, what we call popcorn encounter. Because there's just a billion enemies on the screen at the same time. But Firog is going to make quick work. Gonna restore. And we're gonna make our way down here. Oh, this is a terrifying encounter. Please go yeah. first. Yeah, these okay. uh Ooh. Dark Wizard Dark Wizards know Fyraga and are generally pretty unafraid to let it rip. Uh you did get one spell cast, but thankfully it was a stun and not the uh in other versions first in the list Fyraga, so yay, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, Ice got an HP level. I also appreciate chat chatting about uh, how status effects and status touches worked in uh, in Final Fantasy 1. In particular, um, there are two effects in NES that are non-elemental effects, which is um, Trance, Awful. which is Trance, the AoE Paralysis ability, and Death Touch. They actually don't have elements, so they're only affected literally by your level and nothing else for whether they work or not. Um, ribbons, which we'll get into a little bit later, do give protection from all elemental effects. 
um, including such things as Zap, which is time elemental, or Glance, which is also time elemental, or Quake, which is poison elemental. It's actually Earth Elemental, but it's always funny when I say Earth that. and Poison are pretty much the same thing in this they game. They are the same thing in this game. Um, I, that, one, that one amuses me to no end, though. So. Um, Which is why, like, the Aegis Shield becomes, like, super good in, like, Rando. Yep. But the idea, yes, and Chad is now talking about cake. Now I want cake. Yo? Yo? Yo I, can, I, like, can I just stop this run now and just go get some cake with Chad? Yeah, can we cake break Yo. instead of... <laughs> See, in every other version, we could just now do Evil Eye Grind, and while the Evil Eye Grind happens, we would just all eat cake. Yeah, get I mean, slow. Get I could, like, step away for a little bit and just, y'all can stare at the ice cave while I go get some cake. <laughs> I don't I don't know if, like, High Spirits would appreciate that, but... I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure High Spirits would approve of us achieve, achieving happiness through whatever means necessary. What if I brought you some cake, High Spirits? <laughs> gotta, gotta bribe the boss. Alright, so we're gonna make our second pass through here. Um, unfortunately for this game, when you leave a screen that has a forced encounter, uh, the encounter actually respawns. And we have to fight that encounter a second time. Uh, which that encounter is is very dangerous because all nine of those enemies have stun touch and if they stun you your defense drops to zero and in this game to recover from paralysis uh you have it's a 25 percent chance yep one in four to recover from paralysis just just and at the start of the turn it's 25 percent of the time you'll be free and 75 percent of the time the undead will continue pummeling you yeah so it just becomes a matter of please cast the spell, please cast the spell, please cast the spell, please cast the spell. Oh, oh, well, Heck has burned through all of their Firaga charges. Good job, Heck. You show that you show that Wraith. Hit it with your staff that you've had equipped since the very first moment of this run. Alright, so we're getting the heck out of here. And we're going to make our way back to the Crescent Lake area. Because uh, we have a wonderful, wonderful item to pick up. It's free enterprise time, right? It's free enterprise time. Yeah. The free enterprise thing. Does this airship we even free have a name? the enterprise. Is this airship Is now named the, the Enterprise? The USS Enterprise? Why USS? This is a Japanese game. But they were talking about Star Trek earlier. We're gonna boldly go where no party has gone before. I mean, we do technically go to space. <laughs> we do go to space, yes. Wait, so is this is this the is this the part of the game where? All right, see you later. Uh, is this the part of the game where? Uh... Star Trek is now, like, canon with Final Fantasy 1? Yes. So our favorite Star Trek captain is Sid? Uh, my favorite Star Trek captain is uh, Admiral Pike, or Captain Pike, as you want to call him. That's fair. I don't even know where that one is from. I am a, I am definitely a Captain Pike enjoyer. That is from, uh, Strange New World, from the... Yeah, the prequel series that they just have been doing. Okay. Yep. Then again, I might have also not watched any Star Trek for the last 20 minutes. Yeah, that's why not I'm also... Not that long, but... That, that's why I'm still on Team Captain Benjamin Sisko. He's a, fa <laughs> he's a father, and he gives no hex whatsoever. Sorry about the language. That's Deep Space Nine, right? Whoa, whoa, yeah, I have to cover my ears. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Yo, uh, any any airship enjoyers in chat? Cause uh, we just got our airship, but Let's we're gonna go. take an encounter. We're gonna take an encounter right before the airship. I am, I am, I am manifesting it. I know. I've had uh, mo mostly been watching Voyager back then, and of course, a bit of Picard was also there. But that's I was lying <laughs> about it. I lied to you, chat. I'm sorry. 
All right, so we're going to come here and we're going to pass through the Cardia Islands. Um, we have some safety potions that we can pick up here that are pretty massive for this run. In randomizer, this, a... in randomizer, this is where you get the Vorpal, by the way. <laughs> the what? Also, <laughs> an important topic is that we only rob the places that actually have people, or in this case, dragons, because we all know the dragons are rich. Like, we did not go to, like, Astor's Castle, which is deserted now, or Kale Shrine, which is deserted. No, we only go to, like, places where people or dragons live. Or a robot I mean, in that case. But, I mean... First of all, shoutouts to the Wear Sword in, uh, Temple of Fiends. And the Rune Sword. <laughs> well, that we don't use. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple of quests here that we need to do. Um, I'm going to be stepping on and off my canoe here uh, because you actually get a free step walk when you step on and off your canoe. Uh, Wait, much like and fix the remaster? You sure do. I have tested it. If you walk on and off the canoe, it does not increment your step counter. And you know, not getting encounters is the name of the game after all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, bad enough, you, this version is also, I'm not sure if NES was, but like, you cannot tent or cottage in, on the canoe. You could say it in other versions. You can, nice. in, you, you can in NES, you can't in other versions. No, you can in GBA and PSP. Can you? Definitely in GBA, yeah. Okay. I mean, have you tried to set up an entire house on a canoe? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is probably the scariest encounter you can get in this cave, uh, because Pyrolisks have, um, Glare, which one-shots you. It's just yeah. an it's and kill. It literally just kills you. Yeah, th there's protection against that. That is basically the only ability I know that Protect Rings actually do something against. Fun fact. I think yeah. every other death ability does not care about yeah, protect pr rings. Uh, protect yeah. rings give you protection against earth, uh, which glare happens to be earth or poison. Wait, wait, like, don't wait! Don't protect rings give you protection from death elemental? Yeah, it is protection from death. Yeah, they protect you from from death, from uh, quad X, from glare, oh, which yeah. is actually which is actually death elemental. It's like the one of the only ability insta kills that's not like a weird element. Yeah, but they don't protect you against scourge or quake or, quake or oh, no, not zap. the ambush. Two, three, four, five, six. It's okay, we got the first turn anyway. After it. I always forget there's glare and there's glance and there's, you know, there's glare, glance, and gaze, and there are three different elements. <laughs> Somebody remind me after Sea Shrine to go pick up haste, because <laughs> I am I am not on the my usual route here. Oh, Imagine no. you could use warp now. Warp. Oh, warp would be fantastic. It's unfortunate that oh, nice. It's unfortunate that warp is blocked by class change. Warp is DLC. We don't get it. Hey, look, a gold needle. <laughs> what is the ambushes going on here? Uh, I don't fight the clay golems. Uh, clay golems have a massive resistance to every element. Um, they are very weak to physical attacks. Nice. Uh. Group yeah, you here. need to you need to I think buy ragas are enough for play golem, but still. You can easily run away. So no reason to fight them. Yeah, they are our physical fighters are currently uh relaxing. They're taking in the dank cave breeze. Yeah. Yeah. This is a cave behind a waterfall. You'd think there'd be a nice breeze coming through here. I would hope so. Hmm. 
Okay, that is the attack we do not want to see from a Pyrolisk onto our mages. Uh, Gaze is Glare in the NES version. Uh, and that is what just... Literally, like, the animation for that spell... I'll just fear out of this. Uh, literally, the animation for that spell is just your soul leaving your body. <laughs> it rules. Which, honestly, is fair. That's why we call them the jerk birds. They're terrifying. Okay, as long as the croc doesn't bite. Okay. Uh, a white croc bite will do upwards to 200 damage on our mages, and uh, we don't have the HP. Demi, there's an important question in chat. What happened to Demarine 1? Um, interestingly enough, I lost the email address to Demarine original, and then it got, uh, and that was lost to the lost to the winds and tides. So I just took up Demarine 2 instead. So what you're saying is, is you're a doppelganger. Uh, yes. There's a reason why Faye is in my pronouns. <laughs> I knew it! Yeah, also, if you want to buy more than one fairy here, Turbo helps with that. We, we all love Turbo, and yeah, if you use Turbo to buy that bottled fairy, you can buy multiple of it. Not helpful tech for the speedrun, it just means that you spend a lot more money here. But you can't do that. <laughs> <clears throat> we actually didn't mention, uh, so tech smashing in this game, uh, you actually don't have to push buttons in this game. One of the fastest ways of mashing through text is rotating the R3 stick button if you're using a PlayStation controller, um, or the joystick, whatever. Um, that is your fastest way of text mashing, uh, without actually mashing. And it makes things easy. So we're going to do a little shopping here by our protect rings. So now we have protection against earth and death or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to max out on supplies here. Just to have extras of everything. It's probably way more cottages than I'll ever need, but... I can never have too many. Potions, but... Eh, I'll buy them just to have them. Can never have too many houses. So, we saved the fairy uh, by buying it from the bottle vendor. Um, and she rewards us with the Oxyale, uh, which is going to allow us to breathe underwater. Uh, and... Uh, we need to be able to breathe underwater in order to enter the next dungeon, uh, which is going to be in a town that we just, you know, we're just by, by the waterfall. I also do like the change here where I can land this close. It is nice. Instead of having to land like all the way south. Yeah, so inspired by shrine. versions, not the NES. <laughs> Look, I'm still waiting for the the rando devs to slap a dock right next to Onrack. But that'll never happen. This is the NPC that uh Nikki and Demarine were talking about. Uh in the, the GBA version. You have a, a yes or no question here when you enter, or in this version as well, when you enter the submarine, and it defaults to no. I mean, I mean they're not wrong, but also I I just want to save the world. I am Lost getting hurt. Oh, oh, let's go, go go team, go low. Ow! Oh, well, good night, ice. <laughs> Lobsters one, ice zero. Uh, that is not my Phoenix Towns. Um, there we go. I have to be careful not to use that X Potion. Yeah, those are- that is a necessary thing. We need to have three full heals for the last fight, and there are three of them in the game! 
white sharks are awful because they survive a Thundaga. Even though they give a fantastic amount of experience, they suck. Some of the best experience you can get in this dungeon is uh, White Shark Big Eye. Or, what is it? Uh, what do they call this one? Is it Big Eye or is it something else? Uh, I think it's just Big Eye. Uh, it I gives Big Eyes, but an astronomical amount of experience. This is a scary encounter, though. Ghosts, they they can one-shot your Black Mages, and they're single hitters, which is just impressive. So they need a lot of... ouch. Best right. armor in the game. Yep, so the Ghosts. Opal armor, or the bracelet, I don't, I don't know how a bracelet protects you against being punched in the face, but sure. Uh, Diamond armlet. Works for everything that is not a knight, knight warrior, or ninja. It teaches you how to parry. It offers you 40 defense and, like, a, a ton of evasion. And that's all we wanted from there, is we wanted the slab and the, uh, the armlet. Monk's HP is looking pretty, pretty good right now. Mages, not so much. Still not so much. 174. It's fine. You wouldn't be the first who has grinded all the way to 31 before chaos. This rate, I might hit 32. Oh, that's I mean where you get. Chaos Shrine is where you get big bunch of XP. Like, if you really want to grind, Chaos Shrine could give you theoretically a lot of XP. I'm not like this white shark, but I mean. Notice how uh, the mages are being attacked every turn. 25% of the time it works every time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Percentages, maybe one right? of. I know you don't give anyone the diamond arm, right? No, I haven't equipped it. I might equip it to ice just so he stops getting chomped. But yeah. yeah. N not every run has a 300 HP black mage. Some even have a 400 HP, oh, no, not really. Might as well restore that while I was in the menu. There it is. Deep eyes. There we go. Deep That's eyes. what it is. Uh, this is a humongous amount of experience. Uh, for some reason, those eyeballs give large amounts of experience. And teamed up with white sharks, uh, it just makes it a lot more. White sharks are also not bad. They just unfortunately take two turns. Yep. You could do a double Sandara, so that you don't need to eat so that often. But unless you somehow miraculously hit the next... 10 intelligence step, which you never really should at this point. Like, if you are lucky, maybe in Chaos Shrine? Uh, yeah. We will see, I guess. Of course, now that I've equipped it, the, uh, the Opal Bracelet, we, we, we noticed that uh, now Ice has a uh, Repellent. And is not being targeted anymore. So now it's Heck that's being targeted. <laughs> Alright, so this is the most important chest in the game here. Um, this has the item that's going to basically allow us to finish this run. Um, and it's the, the Giant's Gauntlet. And what the Giant's Gauntlet does is if you use it in battle... It casts Saber, and what Saber does is Saber get nice gold needle. Um, Saber gives you plus 16 strength and 10 accuracy, I believe, or 10 hit chance. Uh, so not only does it increase your hits, it also increases your damage. And you pair that with haste, and you just become a punch machine. All right, all right. I need Team all Lobster. To Go team! Oh no, we're gonna die. Yeah, even overkill. There's the only encounter that dies to Sandara. Single. Ah, menuing. 
But yeah, we come in here. There's a fixed encounter in this room. This room is lovingly known as the Sharknado room because that fixed encounter is uh, water elementals and white sharks. And we're just going to walk away from it because they're not protecting the thing we actually want in there. It's Wait, in which version is it? Uh, it's Wiz it's Wizzahag and white sharks. Oh, Wizzahag yeah. and white sharks. Sorry. I always think it's water <laughs> elementals. Because water elementals are tornadoes. But um, yeah, whatever. I give up. I'm leaving. <laughs> Wait, no, come back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, good. We like you here. <laughs> Alright, Heck got an HP level up. That means we hit level 24. Or 26, actually. Okay. Just kidding. I'm lying again. Sorry. 200 hit points on ice, finally, after far too long. We did it, chat. <laughs> Learn to learn to lift again. I might stop back at Onrack after here and top out my ethers and high potions. You still want to buy hay? Yes, I do. Yeah, but yes, you can be stuck there. That's what I usually do. Yeah. That is a good idea. Thank you. Nikki's on top. We love of good it. ideas. Nikki is the routing expert, I guess, or something. I don't know. I mean, I have spent lots of time rooting this game on several versions before. Sure have. Not a single water encounter on this floor. I feel disrespected. Back in the days when I bashed my head against the wall and had world record in three versions of this game. But... Yeah! That was I a lot held of the record in this game for like a week before Thunderclaw took it back. And then, uh, we got bodied by, uh, a JP runner, who now holds the record by a whopping, like, three minutes. Yeah, as it turns out, you need, like, have the, the single core processor of, like, uh, of, like, what is it, 3.6 gigahertz? To have, like, maximal speed on the PC version, and obviously if you were to run on console, on PS5, it would be even faster. By the way, that was Kraken. Um, Kraken has a 50-50 chance to attack or ink, uh, and Kraken chose to uh, target Demarine and uh, Nikki. Yeah. Also, you need like six Sundagas, and you have lot. You usually have like ten spell charges for Sundaga, and yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's a pretty free fight. Yeah. As long as, as long as Chaos decides to not go low. Yeah. Yeah, 1800 HP on Kraken. Six Thundagas takes him out. Normally in NES, that encounter right there, the uh, Wiz Ogre and Cerebus encounter, is unrunnable. Uh, yeah. This game doesn't care. Yep. Hey, y'all, I'm going to actually update the route on the fly here. I'm going to do a uh, Volcano first. Okay, you're doing what Leggy and me have been doing, I think. <laughs> but yeah. I have never done Volcano before, Sky. It's a new How concept. How many Blazagas do you have? I... Uh, three each, I think? I mean, I'm 26, almost uh, 27. Yeah, no. You could even we're, do we're... just Blazaga strats. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm not unpetrifying the uh, monk. Lest I have the menu the better. I should buy silver bracelets. Eh, oh well. It's too late now. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if bosses attack some black mages, they are gonna die anyways. This would only be that for random encounters. very true. Alright, so we have to Especially stop back in here. We do need the hay spell. We do need the hay spell. That is very important for this run. If not, our monk can't hit as hard as we I want. I mean, it can, but it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit more annoying, just a tiny bit. Especially when you get slowered from chaos. Can't we? Don't even have bubble temper. I could go pick it up. I mean, I'm heading north after this, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
it is like a 40 second time loss. I guess it doesn't really matter if you go up or down from here. Also, screen of skill. Hits the land, yeah. but you still got lucky. Diagonal walking in this game uh, allows you to just stay on damage tiles, which damage tiles do increment your step counter for your step for your encounters. Um, but you can only take an encounter on a land tile. Uh, so as long as you stay off of that, uh, you'll never see an encounter on that screen. And if you take if you take a step, that'll actually access an encounter um, on the same tile that you enter a staircase. It actually skips the encounter entirely. So because we stepped on so many damage tiles, uh, we just completely skipped the encounter. Which is good. We love skipping encounters. Which is what we're going to do right here. Because we would normally take an encounter right there. Oh, I have four Blazaka charges. That's even better. Because my HP is so low, I am taking these encounters. Every little bit of experience helps. Hey, Red Dragon. Yeah. Don't see these every day. That is also a Group 7 encounter, I believe. When we say group seven, group eight encounters, those are like the ultra rare encounters that you see uh, in like the NES version, which is like, what is a one in 64? Probably, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, NES is a little weird how it does it, but like when they ported it up to uh, GBA, that was how it worked. All right, let's see if Carrie is generous. Carrie has 1,440 HP. Um, so we need to get six Blizzagas off. Did you grab uh, so we're just gonna auto battle here. I I didn't see if you stopped in Elfland, you know. Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Sorry, I was taking a I was taking a work email. Hello, Agama facts. There are no Agamas in this version. Only fire lizards. Ooh, we love Agama. All right. Very generous carry. She's Look gonna go down top. to a, a billion blizzards. Look at me at the top there doing my job, getting hit three times. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right, we have one more dungeon in the game. Um, now, we did make sure to stop off in Melmond, unfortunately. Um, we did have to go talk to the linguist there so we can learn the spell. Spell, wow. Uh, the language. The spell of the language. Um, here, I'll, I'll do this just for you, Nikki. I will stop here to pick up this extra temper. See, see look at that. The NPC got in my way. This is it's cursed. <laughs> it's, it's town, the it's NPC town. just spawns and hasn't had the chance to move yet. Because of the pixel oh, master version, no. it takes forever for them to move. Oh no! <laughs> the worst! <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Where's my NPC guillotine? <laughs> in the rando, uh, I'm still reminded of going into because we're gonna go to Lafine next to uh, to actually use the new language to get the uh, the chime. Do you uh, know what the worst part about that NPC movement was? In the Pix hmm. Remaster version, the NPC can actually run into you so that you can run through them and bypass them. So it wasn't even necessary that they had to move left all the time. It was a 50-50 every time. I love oh. this game. In in Lafine, by the way, when you're leaving Lafine, you can get double elf blocked in GBA, where two elves decide to block the bridge out of the town. Not one. And NPCs okay. cannot walk through each other. So if Correct. you get double elf blocked, good luck. Walk away. Just walk away. And then come back and hope that one of them has gone to the left and gotten out of your way enough that you can. I get can't through. wait for this to happen in the marathon. Let's go. I really. Well, hope I mean, it you happens. can always push them first, right? Yeah, see, but that so one. You could have pushed that you. one to the left one more until. Yeah. Unless I guess, except if he Look, runs through. They went up, and I'm happy with that. 
That one going up is actually really good. But what can happen is that the one that you walk past here can walk to the right and do this, and then that one is actually down instead of up, and then they're both in your way trying to leave. They just don't uh. want you to... No! No! No, Tyro, please! So this is a small a Tyro. So this is not so big Tyro. This, this is not right, so this, this is, is Tyro. Tyro's Tyro's a little cold. Tyro's a little cold. Uh, we're not going to actually take out Tyro because Tyro is friend. Tyro is friend, not food. Uh, the old randomizer memes continue to live on forever, huh? But, but why is Allosaurus Tyro? It's uh, the yes. name of it. Isn't Tyrannosaurus named Tyro? No, those are T-Rexes. No. Those are T-Rexes. Those, oh. those are blue steaks. Those are the ones you want to eat. I played the NES version once on stream. <laughs> but that's about it. Uh. But yeah, no, I am I am a I am a Tyro lover. We do not kill Tyros. Uh, See, we while just warm I, them up. While I on the other hand oh. am a Tyro I am a Tyro enjoyer. Um I enjoy applying the fire to them enough that they become delicious. Uh High Spirits, is it too late to ask for a new commentator? <laughs> I'll go get. I'll go get leggy. <laughs> <laughs> it has never been that easy to switch commentators. I'll just, but I'll just, right. we'll stay here. We have uh, the lovely Mirage Tower. Here's the worst um, floor in the game if you're playing randomizer. Um, yeah. Uh, Especially if you don't have like an exit or a warp spell. <laughs> this place so much. Mirage one. Great, perfect, flawless, ship it, no notes. Mirage 2, awful, terrible. Why are you here? Why do you exist here? It wants here? you to take the whole two around the tower. Ideally, we want to see Guardians. Um, they're worth a lot of they, experience. They they're worth a, a lot of experience. And we need experience. And they I still... Too. Not Ice is still hot. eating a candy bar and <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> Ice is hitting the books. The books are hitting him back. <laughs> um, they're having the best day back there. Are they, though? Yeah. Are you I not guess. entertained? I guess. <laughs> Chat I mean, y'all are here. I'm entertained. Chat is very torn on whether or not you should have... Uh, turn that Tyro into convenient experience points. Uh, absolutely not. You're the my community off, you know? would never let me live it down if I ever did that to my friend Tyro. You know what? You're the runner. I'm going to agree with you on this one today. I'm not going to fight it. I actually have a command in my chat that if you just type in uh, Tyro, I think it just says Tyro is friend, not food. Uh... But yeah, we're going to head up to the second floor. We're actually going to open a treasure chest on the second floor because we need to get our third and final ribbon. Uh, there's only three ribbons in this version of uh, FF1. Yeah, so that everyone gets to look cute. Except for Demi. Demi is already cute. Demi's just permanently cute, though. Demi has reached her final form way ahead of everyone else. She, she's like <laughs> over there just like flushed face right now. Just like, aww. <laughs> I am actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you two know me too well. This is not fair. Unfair. I mean, we've known. I've known you for what five years now. Thereabouts. Yeah, that's when we started playing uh, FFR. That's when I started in with that that community. Yeah. I I, I would have to research. I I wanna almost guess. Uh, what did you do first? GPA speedrunning or NES randos? Um, they were pretty close together, interestingly <laughs> enough. Um, the first speedrun I did was PSP. Um, but then I took up GBA after posting like my first like 135 or so on uh, PSP. Okay. It's a hot minute, and when, when you've been around for so many years, uh, things just mix and mash. Yeah. I had, to, I had to ask Leggy when we first actually met, because our DMs are later than the time that we first met. <laughs> um, which is which is a rarity, all things considered. Um, but yeah. 
one of the few enemies in the game that actually resists the lightning spell. They resist all is... three major elements, Fire Ice I'm, and... I'm totally amazed. Like, me in this place, I just always switch spells back and forth to, like, everything, and you just... Even in second shrine, because I have learned that somehow I am faster if I just switch forth, back and forth and don't need... Oh, yeah, because you don't have memory cursor, so it takes you longer to insert new spells. But yeah. Thankfully, yeah. like, I have the, the I, spell locations. I can locations. see why now. But yeah, we're gonna Thanks. get to the most important floor of them all in just a moment, though. Will we see our our good friend War Beat Boop? Mech. War Mech. War, War Mech. War Mech. Or oh, Wait, I'm mech. the runner. I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> yeah, there are. There will be two chances for us to get Warmacked here. Warmacked no one has the... ever gotten Warmacked in a marathon before. <laughs> I mean, definitely I mean, not on this channel. I certainly, mean, certainly didn't happen this year. No, certainly not. Um, then we, we two as a as as a as the worst people to talk about. <laughs> I know. Uh, I you know what? I'm taking a second encounter. Oh, nope. unlucky. I just I just remembered RPG Lemon Break pulling my phone out mid-run while on commentary on the camera and telling Stella, hey, take over so I can uh, get this donation in. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we are finally Nikki is finally joining the battle here. What about Nikki? me? Uh, you? No. You, oh. you are as active as always. You are doing your job. Oh, okay. Perfect. At least I'm doing my I'll, job. I'll, I'll hit you with the... No, no, no. <laughs> you... You not stay... You not get on five. No, no. Yeah. All right. So, Tiamat has a resistance to all elements. Uh, so, we have to remove the... Uh, petrification from our punch machine. And now it is time to throw some hands. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, oh, gosh. Hey, Tiamat, well, don't do on. that. That's a good start, actually, though. Just use Yeah, that's potion. actually a really good start. That's a perfect like, start. I don't think we can like, lose this all now. You, yeah, if Tiamat good. decides to use her strong AoE spells every turn, you die. Yeah, she like, kills. There is nothing you can do. You want that turn in which she does not do that in order to get a bit of freezing space. Yeah, because she right, The only way we die is if we get bitten. Up. Oh, oh. Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> not Easy. even close. Free. Not a no, 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 not a not a warrior in the world. <laughs> you have a doubt. We weren't sweating Come on. ever. God, not even. Nikki not even. Got close. <laughs> I believe in the Nikki. She is uh she is our wonderful punch machine. Unbelievable. That's probably one of the best Tiamat RNGs I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Usually your mages die like turn three or turn two. <laughs> so we're gonna use this opportunity to cottage up for our final time, and we're gonna make our way over to the Temple of Fiends again. Yo. Time to run. Yeah, we'll get a temper charge in. I just gotta get... <laughs> Pig's gotta get buff. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta hit up the, the weights for a bit. That was just, it was RNG manipulation for the next level so we could get an HP level up. That, that's, that's my reasoning. Alright, so, we now have the four crystals. Uh, we're gonna use these crystals to unlock the gate. And the gate is going to send us 2,000 years into the past. Because that's where our true villain lies. And he, he's the one causing all this heckin' crap. I will take a few encounters here. Yeah. Ironically, white dragons are not weak to fire. They're neutral Yeah, they're not. Yeah. They're weak to lightning, but that only matters when you enter Ice Cave. There you can actually under damage with Fire Rocker. Yep. But... Uh, Chimera is no blaze, which is a tiny AoE, but they can also clamp down on your party, and they also are weak to Ice Elemental. Ironically enough, they're weak to me! 
I mean, then they give you the experience points, because that's what you want. Ice hitting that HP level kind of makes me want to push with Ra fleeing now, but... I mean, as long as Nikki has less than 400, there's nothing wrong with keeping on the grind a bit. Oh, and you, you might be wondering, hey, why did I cast Thundaga here? Um, dragons or vampire lords or whiz vampires actually have a chance of casting Null Fire, which negates their fire weakness. So we just cast Thundaga there to to remove that and still you still have to two turn it regardless. This is a pretty frightening encounter. Black Knights are probably the heaviest physical hitter in this dungeon. Those are some and really you need bad more men. than one spell. Bad bad men. Those are some really really bad men. I mean as opposed to the the other knight which uh are the one enemy which are the one enemy in the regular pool that cast that cast nuke. Yeah, that's a that's a fun experience getting nuked by an enemy that you're just like, oh okay. Yeah, y'all are just regular ordinary guy, and then they're just like, nope. All right, <clears throat> hex HP is fantastic right now. Two, six, four. Heck is yeah. able to tank a tsunami. Ice can almost tank a tsunami. I'm not uh, holding my breath, but, I mean, but how about being able to tank Flan? Yeah, I they don't can... know, but uh, chat, here's Wonderwall, by the way. <laughs> I said, maybe you're going to be the one that flares me. But yeah, now we're into the second set of floors here. So it's two more floors of uh, mixed encounters from the late game uh, before we get uh, to the elemental floors. Demarine, you want to talk about that door we just walked through? I almost said a bad word. I almost said heck. <laughs> whoa, uh, whoa! Whoa! Hey. Hello? Hello. <laughs> uh, this Live is on stream? So this is referential to a race I had back. Uh, this was the spring 2019 of the Final Fantasy Randomizer for the tournament. Uh, round two against uh, Theo and one round against Zardia in that tournament. Um, where I forgot that I needed the key to get through that door. That key, is, that door, by the way, is locked by the key. It's just you would never know that playing the vanilla game because that door, obviously, you have the key by now in vanilla. Uh, so I went into, I ended up going into Temple of Fiends Revisited, ran into that door. Uh, thankfully, it was not on microphone because I said some really bad words. Had to go back out, and I knew where the key was, thankfully, go obtain it go back in and finish the run and I won that race by three seconds. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Giving uh, the people the content ever... they deserve. You don't ever, like, realize that that door is locked by the Mystic Key and that's just a massive, massive heck you from the developers from, you know, 36, 37 years ago. It was unbelievable. I'm still shocked I won that race. Um, and it's funny because, like, we didn't know that that was a thing when this randomizer was, like, first becoming a thing. So, like, nobody thought to check that door. And we found that out the hard way. Unbelievable. I think Heck hit 40 int. No, maybe not. I'm lying. Close, but not quite. But yeah, um... I've had some really good. I've had some really good Final Fantasy randomizer races, including the one race. One time, I actually won a race by four warps. I finished the run before my opponent uh, had lit and warp, which was kind of unbelievable because it was not against a slouch either. It was against one of the top runners of the game. I used to be very good at the randomizer. Okay, so fun encounter here. We don't need to uh, Lich. Nope. Lich yeah. has a chance of casting Nuke, and Nuke will one-shot my mages. Thankfully, we don't need to buff an awful lot for this fight. It's more of an inconvenience than anything, but it's still really annoying. Nikki should be able to tank the player fairly. Oh yeah, no, we don't completely high roll. Now yeah, I would not be Lich, so sure anymore. Like, 
the I flare from Lich only does. There it is. It, it, uh -oh. does, it only does like 290. Like right? Yeah. Uh, okay. There's. It's fine. Kill. It wasn't even close. Nah. Yeah, kill, kill, which is quad X from the original, which if you're under 300 hit points, it instantly kills you unless you have death on level protection. Oh, Nikki is HP is phenomenal. 400. Yeah. All right, that's ideally the HP we want to be. I'm going to go for one more level on ice. Yeah, also these encounters here are really nice on Marilus floor. You just queue yeah. up the Zaga. Always get pretty decent experience. Everything dies to one Blizzaga also, I believe. Yeah, it does. Yes. It's Fire Elementals, uh, Agama, and... Uh, this is probably Dragon. the best experience you're going to find on this floor. Yeah. And Fire Gigas. Yep. All right. We well, Ice uh, proving to me that they just don't don't want HP. So uh, good luck, it, me. You've decided that HP is for those who are not enlightened. Congratulations on achieving uh, achieving enlightenment. All right, carry two is a little bit more of a challenge uh, because carry does not care about your turn order. Uh, she doesn't care where your party members are placed. She's going to physical attack somebody, and it's most probably going to be the monk. The monk can tank a hit, though. At full HP, she also loves spamming Firaga. I'm yeah. fine with the spam of Firaga. Yeah, but Firaga plus physical is the problem. Yeah, now, now your now your monk could theoretically die to getting getting hit for about you know, 300. But it wasn't even close. Because now we're fine. Now everything's okay. There it is. We yeah, actually would have tanked that. Yeah, what is there? No, no, you wouldn't have. 123. You'd have died. No, no, no. Get... I had 290 HP after the Viraga. Oh, did you get Viraga a second time then? Because I guess you did, right? No, I okay. only got one Viraga. She did yeah, 90. Or... She did 100 with the Viraga, and yeah, you would have died. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Math is hard. <laughs> you would have. Do... Well, all right, everybody. We're trying to do math on Twitch here, so don't mind us. Uh, please. Uh, I know we've said some bad words and everything, but now I really need you to stop listening for a minute while we try to do math on Twitch. <laughs> no one would ever do math. No. No one has ever studied math here. No, no, one of the big... anything. One of the big speedrunners of this game has not programmed a randomizer of the GBA version or has a whole heckin' PhD. That's like, no. like, like he's got a whole PhD. She's a doctor. Yeah. She's a doctor. But yeah, we water floor. Seafood party mix. All these encounters are terrible, but. <sighs> hey, Leggy, when we when we do commentary later this week for Slar PG, we're gonna do math on stream together, aren't we? Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. We're gonna do all the taboo things. All right, so we're gonna pretend we're gonna actually pretend that the game follows the right order of uh, operations here, and we're gonna move <laughs> our monk to the third slot, and hope that uh, we're gonna hope and, that uh, Nikki doesn't get hit because and, and send ice off. into second position because ice hit tanks those hits way better. <laughs> yes, Kraken melees are exceedingly violent at this point in the game. Uh, milling me is great. That's what we want to see. I am full well capable of getting flexed upon without dying because I'm made of stone. Yeah, oh, uh, I'm, I ink. usually am barely able to tank a physical. Obviously, crits and such could happen, so we don't want to jinx anything. Oh, you made and me And Sandara, ink. um, yeah. Doesn't matter at, at least. We're done. we out. Nice. Alright, almost there. So we have this, some chopped up sushi. This run is completely skill and there's no RNG at the end, so it's fine. So we're just going to make it through this. Absolutely not. I'm we're like... Gonna, we're going to make oh, it through this. The yeah. legendary oh. Iron Golem! It's not even rare anymore. It's still a 1 in 128, I'm pretty sure. No. Not on this version. You sure? Yeah, I've seen it way too often. Well, See, I'm gonna the only rare encounter here is 1, eh? 
Iron Goal. Spamming Death Poison, which doesn't do anything to this party. There was no reason for me to kill that, but we did it anyway. Doing it for the love of the game. Alright. So here, here's Tiamat. Tiamat's too. gonna treat us, right? Big AoE spam. Pretty big melee hits. Uh, Nikki can almost certainly tank one of them, but will be reduced to under 100. Blizzard is what we want to see. That's the, the junkiest AoE that she's got, so hopefully we see a yeah. bunch of that. It's, it's kind of ironic that Tiamat 2 spell is, like, is way nicer than Tiamat 1, because yeah, Tiamat 2 has a lot of these nice, like, small AoE spells, like Blizzara. Well, like, Tiamat 1 was, like, Poison Gas, Thunderbolt, Ice Storm. Yeah, just, like, the worst abilities in the game for that point in the game. Alright, now it's time for us to start, uh... Oh! oh my... <laughs> Nikki, no! Alright, well, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's try this. I didn't mean to cast the haste there. That's fine. Well, you're gonna get the haste off. It's, it's fine. It just makes me go faster. <laughs> I'm just gonna defend. You're gonna get thunderbolted for your troubles. Here, have oh, a yeah, team. Apparently, Tiama 2 also has significantly less intelligence, which is why the thunderbolt only take deals like 110 instead of 150. Oh, it only does. No, it only does 110 because we've got. Uh, oh, you know, we've got. Good night, uh, me. Good luck, I guess. No, it's because of the intelligence. Uh, but yeah, just Tiamat. Uh, Tiamat melees are are really bad for the mages. Oh, I didn't know Tiamat also knows Fyra. That's garbage. Yep. Yeah. Also, the other thing of note is that when you die, you do lose all of your buffs. So, like, we would have had to rebuff from zero there. So it's just easier just to wipe it up and do it. I have hell. to do a backup Giant's Gloves because we got turn one bitten. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it happens. Ch Charlie bit me. All right. Blizzard, right. we love that. One, One more. more punch will do it. 5,500 HP. And we're through. As you see the melee attack go out, you can definitely feel the breath come out just, just a little <laughs> bit. <sighs> that moment of don't do, the, don't do me like this again, Tiamat. All right, it's time, everyone. Welcome to the casino. Yep. One more There's the rules are made final... up, but nothing ever matters. There's a reason that the final split, nice purple worms. The final split on my my live split is called the house wins. <laughs> the house does always win. Also, this is right. the only version in which you get encounters on this floor. We call this the casino because. The way that spells and skills work in this game, they're completely random. Uh, there's no predetermined list. So Chaos can just use whatever the heck he wants. And nine times out of ten, he's either going to Tsunami, he's going to Swirl, he's going to Flare, and you're just going to laugh. The other time, so, he'll cast Haste and make you go, oh, well, I'm in trouble now. So oh, wait, the strat here... The strat here is turn one, we're going to use three Giants Tonics to get Nikki's health to, in this case, 994. That's perfect. Good first turn. Um, ideally, Chaos attacks the fighter. Um, and then we're going to throw a... We're eventually going to throw a heal here because we do want to top yep. off. I wait oh my turn. gosh. No turn delay. to heal. Yeah, with, well, 400 health, with 400 health, you can get away with it potentially. But yeah, we're going to start buffing and then we are going to throw out a Elixir onto... Onto Nikki because she needs to be full health for this. Um, so now she's topped off, and then we're going to continue the act of buffing, which is going to involve throwing tempers, speed drinks, and the giant's glove until the black mages die, um, which they will. Um, I mean, the black mages just will keep on buffing because that's yeah. all they can do until they die, and yeah. But we get oh, another time will be point. potentially coming up here when chaos starts flashing. Yeah, uh, chaos, for death. Crack, chaos Crack Boom is the timer. There's Thundaga that should remove ice from this fight. Uh, first hit, 3227. We need to do 20,000 damage, by the way. Uh, oh. That's like, no, that's fine. Yeah. 30, 30 for what, 65. All right, we're out. We, we have healed, so might as well heal right yeah. now. So we, we have uh, seen one player we don't want to see in a second. Yeah, time will be coming up here very shortly. More that hits. We need seven hits total, right? Yeah, we're gonna need two more. Two more. We need one. We need, uh -oh. 
One more. One more. And... One more. And... And time! Time, time go! Me. First try what? chaos! Yes, chaos. <laughs> First try uh, chaos is wild in a marathon. Gee, First gee. try. The slot machine pays out the jackpot? What is up with that? We, so we, normally, look, we the right machine. <laughs> that last physical attack would have been on the monk. And then we would have been so close, but chaos just found the haste into physical for some reason again. But not today. Beat your run oh. from, you beat your run from Speedrun Ragnarok, by the way. Nice. So, I feel like this game wants to tell you something. With this, no. With this <laughs> <casino>. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. 202.15, by the by. 202.15? Yo, heck yeah. Let's go. Oh, that is... It's... That run is, like, super scary. Just because of, like... You can get there on astronomical fast pace, and then chaos can just tell you to like kick rocks, and yeah, chaos can just decide that you don't get to have a PB or a good time or a time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's 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 become a point to where like you, if you don't have good RNG in the beginning, you just reset, and then in my case, I have like seven minutes of time save in the beginning of the run but then i had i think in my my current pb i had a like a 14 minute temple of fiends revisited which is like incredibly fast because i had a very good chaos like he he just physical attacked my fighter four turns in a row or something and i was like oh okay free uh but yeah big shout outs for questing for glory for allowing me to open this marathon um it is an absolute honor to be the first run of this marathon and to showcase this wonderful game with two wonderful folks on comms um even though we'd like to we like to heckle each other here and there um i do appreciate both y'all being here for this run it is That's as been always great. it is as always a pleasure and a joy to get to do commentary with nikki and hang out with you guys absolutely but yeah, uh, I think that's going to do it. Um, I normally don't run this game on my channel very often. Sometimes I do, uh, just because it's sometimes fun. <laughs> um, I do primarily run Zelda games. Uh, so if you're interested in Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Link to the Past. Occasionally I'll run the Switch version of Link's Awakening. Eh. Um, I will be day one learning smrpg remake when it comes out so if you're interested in that as well uh, i will be doing a bunch of labbing and routing um so be sure to come check that out if you're interested in that right now i am doing a casual playthrough of star ocean 2 the remake so if you're interested in that come hang out and make sure you follow my commentators as well because they are both heckin awesome and you will see it you will hear us both again in two days yeah yeah. Well, Final Fantasy Tactics A2. The Antlion Saga. Yeah. Yep. Tax Tactics Advance is such an underrated game. It, it It's such a great game. <laughs> but all right. I think that's going to be it for us. Thanks for hanging out. I uh, hope you enjoyed the run. And I am looking forward to our next run. Keep hanging out. This marathon rules. <laughs>